This is not meant to sound judgmental or incite an us versus them or question anybody's passion or talent or intentions. This is just coming from a guy whose career ended from a few too many accidental headshots. The art of this business is protecting ourselves and each other. Trust me, the gaps in memory are not worth it. I promise. So that's Corey, someone who has suffered you know, from concussions and legitimately, unlike the bad faith fans, seems concerned about wrestler safety and spoke up when he saw a chair shot like that. I can respect that opinion because that's coming from an actual person, an actual wrestler who has legitimate concerns and say that chair shot went too far. You're right. It was a gnarly chair shot. And I think it's very good that pro wrestling and sports in general these days are much more uh, aware of the dangers of head trauma and CTE and what can happen to you in these situations. But football and wrestling, even all the protections you put in place, you know, football, you can barely sneeze on the quarterback now and it's a penalty. AEW and WWE are, I think WWE more so than AEW. They're a little bit less violent than, than AEW, but AEW is not oblivious, you know, to these dangers either. And I think that for the most part, we are seeing unprotected chair shots extremely rarely. But just like in football, no matter how many protections you put in place, just like in wrestling, even if you gimmick the chair or you try to have a, a policy of no chair shots, no head shots, things like that, you're going to slip a couple of past the goalie every now and then. And I think we need to chalk this up to that being one of those times. Now, granted, AEW's had a few weird instances. They had that situation with Matt Hardy a couple years ago where he had that concussion and they kind of let him finish the match. They've made some mistakes in that regard, for sure. And maybe this chair shot wasn't something they want to do very often or maybe even do again for that matter. But they are still, even in AEW, even as gnarly as they are, they're more gnarly with the blood. It's not, you know, I, it's more bloody than it is actual blunt force, Mike Awesome, Masato Tanaka trauma to the head. You know, those matches in ECW are what really should make you nervous. <laughs> you know, watching that stuff, we don't see that style of chair shots or head trauma or bumps anymore. Or if we do, it's pretty rare. And I think if you are going to sign up to be a pro wrestler or a professional football player or a football player of any kind, you have to be aware of these dangers and know that, yes, even though you want to try to protect your, yourself and your head as much as possible, it is very likely that you're going to get a concussion in your life, probably multiple. That's the game you're playing. You can't make this one completely safe. You just can't. What you can do is be smart and be as smart as possible and take care of each other. And maybe for some fans argue that wasn't done here. You might be right. You might be right, but I'm not going to take anybody's opinion who's a known bad faith hater. You know, if you've got an opinion on this, I'm checking your timeline first. And if your whole timeline is full of to calling Tony Khan names and tweeting hard cam picks, I'm sorry, I'm just not going to respect you. You know, but somebody brought up, and I'm glad they did, what Corey Graves said because he deleted the tweet. So I didn't know about it. So I'm like, oh, okay. See, I can understand Corey and anybody like him who has this opinion of that. I get it totally. So AEW might want to cool it on that stuff.